Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified, most accurate local forecast. That's all from Cody. Yeah, he just wants to move on from that story. That's for sure. It is a really nice evening. If you've stepped out, maybe you took the dog out a little while ago. Uh, temperatures are in the 60s in some spots already. 65 in Gaffney, 61 in Hendersonville, 72 in Anderson. Just a nice evening, not the kind of humid, oppressive feel that we've had at night, sometimes especially last week. Uh, and right now we've got a very, fairly calm wind in most spots. The wind's been coming out of the northeast. That's what's helping to make it feel so good outside. But that will begin to change as we head toward this weekend. We'll have rain chances increasing, but not a whole lot to speak of right now. Just a little light shower activity in far eastern Tennessee. We're dry in the upstate and Northeast Georgia. So wake up weather tomorrow. This is going to feel good right around 60 in the mountains, mid 60s for you in the upstate 65 for Spartanburg 66 in Elberton. And let's take a look at Greenville. Maybe you've got plans to meet some friends downtown for lunch tomorrow. It looks great. In fact, if you want to sit outside, I think the shade will still feel pretty good since it's not going to be all that humid just yet, right around 80 degrees. And as we get into the middle late afternoon, we'll start to warm back to around 85 86. That's where we were today. So just to give you an idea. It's going to be a very similar day to, to Thursday as we go into Friday. By your evening, it'll be a pretty one. As the sun goes down, there could be a few clouds still around. Temperatures in the upper 70s. We'll be waiting on a few showers that will be making their way in late Friday night. And then again, more rain on Saturday. But during the day, Upstate mountains looking good uh, on Friday. I just think rain will arrive later on. Temps in the low to mid 80s, which is about five degrees below normal for this time of year. So here's a look at future cast. In the morning on Friday, I think we'll be looking good. Some clouds will begin to build in. And notice around 8 p.m. we're looking cloudy, but a lot of rain to our south. It's going to be interesting to see the trajectory on this rain, but most of the models keep the heaviest downpours along the I-77 corridor. Watch that as it moves up north uh, overnight. So we're just not going to see widespread rain here if this pans out. But we'll still have the chance for a few scattered light showers, some cloud cover on Saturday. And then notice we still get some afternoon activity as the temperatures heat up Saturday afternoon. So be on the lookout for that if you're heading to the pool. There's a little bit of that left over in the mountains, and then it'll start to fade out as we go into your Saturday night. Here's a look at your next seven days. We'll have a, about a 50% chance of rain on Saturday, a few, couple showers in the morning, a few afternoon thunderstorms to deal with, but temperatures will be kept in check through Saturday. But by Sunday and Monday, that's when we get back close to 90 degrees, and then we'll be firmly back into that August feel by two Tuesday into Wednesday. Now it's time for your riding forecast. It's sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. If you're going to be getting out for a ride, you have to watch out for some wet roadways on Saturday, but by Sunday we'll be looking sunny, but a bit hotter across the mountains. It'll be uh, not a bad weekend, really. It's just the uh, the daytime hours on Saturday. We could have those scattered showers, but we should dry out on Sunday and won't have too much extreme heat around.